Dolly had blood problems, various organs failed. Were her faults as a living creature, all of the health problems that she did have, was that due to her being a clone? And it's probably safe to say yes. Nature, one sperm, one egg. The result, an individual with equal parts DNA from a mother and a father. And the only way higher life forms can reproduce until now. Under normal conditions, the sperm and the egg unite and they yield what we call a zygote. But normal conditions have nothing to do with cloning. We take um, a skin cell and we put it in an egg that we removed the nucleus of that egg. So that egg is just, uh, just like a chicken egg where you remove the egg yolk and you only have the white and put it in that egg and then stimulate it chemically and electrically and activating that egg to become an embryo. In the years since Dolly, other species soon joined the cloning club. The science is deadly serious, but some seem to take it far too lightly. In 2009, a genetics laboratory held a contest to clone the world's perfect dog. Well, who are the best dogs? Well, in one case, the best dog was a dog named Tracker, a German Shepherd, who was literally a 9-11 rescue dog. Tracker the dog died at 16 years old, but the five clones were born and are healthy. Although they're still alive, we have no idea what their fate is. In 2012, the International Equestrian Federation lifted a ban on the cloning of dressage horses. That means within a generation, every horse in the Olympics could be a clone of a single champion. As scientists perfect the art of the exact replica, their next step is both logical and terrifying, modifying the copy. Once you develop that, the next question is, can you modify that organism in specific ways by adding a gene? Bizarre, and some say dangerous changes are introduced. What if the gene you add is a gene from a phosphorescent jellyfish what if you could take that gene and implant it into a mouse? You then get a glowing mouse. Opponents of genetic modification and cloning fear the worst. Goats crossed with spiders. Spare parts grown on lab rats. Cows that give human breast milk. Because if scientists can manipulate certain kinds of genes, think of where they can go with this. For the right price, many doctors will now replicate your favorite family pet. But should they? Some people will spend all kinds of money to extend the life of their pet, but with each generation of clone, you introduce more chance for catastrophic failure. Are today's scientists risking the future of mankind in a dangerous attempt to play God? When we return, meet the one doctor who dares to tell the truth about what he's really up to. Unsealed. Conspiracy 